Hello there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Charles Abels, local photographer in and around the Prescott Valley area. And I hope you're hearing that. All right, I would like to start this episode by saying that although it's for everyone who wishes to view it, it's primarily targeted geared to young folks that are thinking about purchasing their first film camera and they want something simple, such as this Olympus Infinity Stylus point and shoot camera. I purchased this at our local Goodwill store here in Prescott Valley, and I purchased it for a whopping $3.99. But besides the cost, what I really want to share with, with those that are considering purchasing a camera is what to look for. A lot of these cameras, a lot of these cameras for many years have been stuck in a box in a garage and then just sat there. And because of that, they sat idle and you run some risks. So one of the first risks that you need to consider or what I would suggest you consider, if you were to pick up one of these and you start looking at it, start looking for the battery compartment. Most of these point and shoot cameras that were manufactured during the 90s and the early 2000s were battery operated. And so what you should do first thing before you look at anything else is check the condition of the battery box. Now this has the battery in there in place. It's brand new. And the condition of the battery box right here is actually very, very stellar. I mean, it is in good shape. And you check the battery box condition because old batteries, depending on the batteries that they used, they could break and they could corrode the inside of the battery box. So if you find a camera, you pop the battery box and it's corroded and nasty in there because the battery bursted, put it away. It's not worth even dealing with it. Just put it up on a shelf, move on to another camera you might spot. If I recall rightly, when I purchased this camera, the battery had a bit of juice because as I was looking at this camera, noted that the battery box was good. The next thing I wanted to do is, how do I get a good look at the lens? The glass, in particular. And find out what kind of lens it is as well. So, you might hear this. Let me get it up to the speaker here. Ooh, you hear that? That's saying it's, it's awesome and it's working. And right off the bat, when you open up the Olympus here, you can see the lens and when you look at the lens check for cracks make sure it ain't broke that has happened and make your determination from there if you want to continue even further and the looking into this camera for a possible purchase now of course I was looking at it and one thing I noticed it is a 35 millimeter lens and an f3.5 f-stop it also has the flash and all the bells and whistle in here. I think the thing that fascinated me most about this camera when I was looking at it is you could shut it and open it. I mean, it's wicked. No on off switch. As a matter of fact, there isn't too many switches up here. It has the, on this side, it's got the flash. So that way you can pick which flash you want. Fill in, auto, no flash. It has the timer. And then of course your shutter. And right here, you have a little display window that gives you information 
basic information as soon as you turn the camera on or in this case flip open the lens cap or the lens cover and right now what it's telling me is that my flash is on auto the battery is good to go and if you look in there I don't know if you can see it flashing but there's an E flashing in there that's telling me that the camera is empty and ready to be loaded the next thing and the final thing that I like to do is I like to pop open the back but the general purpose of this is to look at the interior to make sure that it is in pretty decent shape so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I want to load a roll of film now what I'm going to use today is I want to throw in a roll of Kodak Triax 400 I believe it's 36 exposure and I'm going to load it into this camera right now and I'm going to prep it up because I will be taking pictures with it to show you what this little camera can do it is phenomenal and generally it will tell you how to load your film so you look for markers I don't know if you could see it but down below in the advanced reel it's got a line mark down in there that says it wants this leader in the film to make it down to that point right there that is because once you get it into there that is because once you shut the back down it's going to automatically advance this roll of film I know pretty cool ain't it so once you get it out enough leader out and you put it into there and you're happy with it have a look see make sure you got the leader down there far enough and what you should have is something that looks like this and then you close this let's see if it makes noises oh you heard that that's telling you your camera is loaded and ready to go this morning I'm going to go into Prescott there's an art fair going on down there so I want to walk around and see what kind of photographs I'm going to see what kind of photographs I can take this is a black and white roll of film that's in here so I'm going to be developing it with a caffeinol recipe because it's a Tri-X I'll probably develop it Tri-X 400 I should say I'll probably develop it in a uh, the, the caffeinol delta standard which is a quick developing uh, caffeinol recipe and then I'll share with you or show you what kind of pictures this awesome little beauty takes I know. Is that Olympus Affinity Stylus? Not an awesome camera? I have to say that I was very lucky when I purchased that camera. That is, for a point and shoot camera, is my favorite little camera. And so I'm running some errands right now, and of all things, I'm going to the post office because I'm going to be mailing this package here to the dark room. I got a roll of 35 millimeter color film in there, Kodak, and because I don't develop color film and because I don't necessarily want the chemicals in order to develop the color film. I usually send mine to the dark room 
So some highlights or reminders. If you're looking to purchase yourself a small 35 millimeter point and shoot camera and you're visiting all of the thrift shops within your area, just keep in mind that when you look at this camera, be very critical of it. Check the battery compartment, make sure there's no battery corrosion in there from the battery cracking. If you can get to the lens, check the lens. Make sure it isn't cracked or damaged in some way. And then, if everything is working out well in your favor, pop open the back cover and check the insides of the camera. Pay in particular close attention to the cogs that help advance the film as it works. Most of these point and shoot cameras were very popular in the 90s, very popular in the early, oh, 21st century 2000 they made them small they made them simple and they fundamentally made them all battery operated so it was just a simple matter of installing a film so there was a lot of things or there could be a lot of things that go wrong with them. but I'm a firm believer if you follow what I suggest because be aware it is a gamble I've had cameras that I purchased that didn't work it is what it is but it is a gamble, it is a throw in the dice to see how you're, going to, how you're going to do when you purchase a little point and shoot. So know that there is some risks in there. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you do, please go down below and subscribe to my channel. I have some notions that I'm nursing that I'm hoping to share with you. So. Without further ado, we'll catch you later.